The director's chair is a lightweight chair made from canvas and wood, but its legacy of Hollywood and directors has made it an iconic symbol of Hollywood and filmmaking. But how and why did this chair become so popular, and why is it still used on film sets today? This is the history of the director's chair. The design dates back to the 15th century, where it was first used by coffin makers and takes its influence from the Roman curial chair. The design we are familiar with was first introduced by the Gold Medal Camp Furniture Company in 1892. In that same year, the company won an award for excellent in casual furniture design in the lead up to the 1893 World's Fair Columbian Exposition in Chicago. Later, it gained a place on silent movie film sets as a place for the director or actor to sit in between takes. The lightweight design made it easy to carry around a busy set. Cecil B. DeMille was famous for creating the role of the DeMille chair boy, a dedicated person to move around the set with his director's chair so he would never have to live to see if the chair was there. While the DeMille chair boy became a symbol of his vanity and self-importance, he would later state that it was a matter of practicality. When a director is working on a motion picture set, from morning till night, day after day, his work demands every ounce of his energy and constant attention. If he has the chance to sit down for a few moments, he should take it, and he should not have to search around for his chair. Years later, Chairs adorned with famous directors and actors would sell for high prices when sold at auction. They were thought to be the symbol of the movie making process on set and are highly sought after among collectors. Some chairs have had their authenticity thrown into doubt because of the people who try to create fake ones and there are even studio hands known to have made more than one for reselling later on. Prices for an authentic director's chair with a famous name on it can fetch anywhere from $1,000 $30,000 and upwards. More recently, Charlton Heston's director's chair, which was believed to have been used on the set of Anthony and Cleopatra, sold for $16,250 at Bonham's auction house in 2016.